The 2022 Buffalo Bills preseason has officially come to an end. So today, I'm going to take my shot at predicting the 53-man roster and give you a good idea as to what we can expect when the roster is finalized. Now, with how good the Bills are, it's more than likely that 99% of the roster is pretty much locked in as it is, so I'm not going to waste your time with the very obvious guys that we all expect to make the team. But I will try to explain certain picks that you might turn your heads at. So without further ado, let's get started. Quarterback. Josh Allen and Case Keenum. Josh Allen is a very obvious lock to make this roster. Case Keenum has had his struggles in the preseason, but he was brought in to be the backup. He does have a lot of experience, even in the postseason. You might remember a play he made with Stephon Diggs, you know, our receiver, where he, uh, yeah, running back. Devin Singletary, James Cook, Zach Moss, and Taiwan Jones. Taiwan Jones might be the biggest lock on this list here because he is a great specials teamer and a captain of the team. So I would cement him in on the roster before I do any of the other three. Now for Devin Singletary and James Cook, they're also locks, let's be honest. And Zach Moss, he's kind of fighting for his life. He's, I believe he'll end up being a scratch for a lot of the season. Zach Moss is going to have to perform when he gets his opportunities to keep his spot on this roster. Now and in the future. Fullback, Reggie Gilliam. Now, usually he might be listed as a tight end here, but I just put him at fullback because it's my video, kiss my ass. Wide receiver, Stefan Diggs, Gabriel Davis, Isaiah McKenzie, Khalil Shakir, Jamison Crowder, Jake Kumaro, and Isaiah Hodgins. I imagine by the time Andre Smith and Ike Butker make their way back from suspension and injury respectively, one of Hodgins or Kumaro would be released and placed on the practice squad. So for those two receivers, they're going to have to perform. Tight end, Dawson Knox and OJ Howard. OJ Howard hasn't had a spectacular showing so far in the preseason, but I believe he will still make the roster. Super talented and won a Super Bowl with Brady and the Bucks in 2020. Granted, he didn't really play due to injury. He brings the option to run personnel groupings with two tight ends, something the Bills haven't been able to do so far in the Allen era. Offensive line. Deion Dawkins, Ryan Bates, Mitch Morphs, Roger Saffold, David Questenberry, Spencer Brown, Tommy Doyle, Greg Mance, and Bobby Hart. Dawkins, Bates, Morris, Saffold, Questenberry, Brown, and Doyle are all locks to make the team, let's be honest. Greg Mance and Bobby Hart are all right depth pieces and can play a variety of positions if one of those main seven got hurt. In my opinion, you could swap one of those two for any of the other fringe offensive linemen because they'll more than likely be released to make room for Ike Butker when he's ready to return. Defensive tackle. Ed Oliver, Daquan Jones, Tim Settle, and Jordan Phillips. With Jordan Phillips joining the revamped Bills defensive line, you can only hope that he returns to his 2019 form where he had nine and a half sacks. Defensive end. Vaughn Miller, Greg Rousseau, Boogie Basham, AJ Epinesa, and Shaq Lawson. Shaq Lawson could be the odd man out potentially if they wanted to keep 10 offensive linemen. However, I think Bean and Co. want to run this one back. Also, does it even feel real that Vaughn Miller is a Buffalo Bill? Kind of reminds me of the time when we got that guy, Stefan Diggs. Yeah, you know, you might know him. Linebacker. Tremaine Edmonds, Matt Milano, Terrell Bernard, Tyrell Dodson, Balin Spector, and Tyler Matakevich. To make room for Andre Smith when he returns, we will more than likely see Balin Spector released and placed onto the practice squad to make that room. However, Balin was very impressive in the preseason and he's more than likely to stick around on that practice squad for a while. Cornerback. Tredavious White, Kyer Elam, Dane Jackson, Christian Benford, Teron Johnson, and Cyron Neal. Rookies Kyer Elam and Christian Benford have really impressed me so far this preseason. Now, if Trey Day is out week one, both of those guys could get serious playing time. However, I am making this roster with Trey on it, and one of them probably will play opposite to him this season. Safety. Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde, Jaquan Johnson, and Damar Hamlin. Now, both Poyer and Hyde have suffered an injury in the preseason and training camp. However, they're going to be back week one healthy and Jaquan Johnson and DeMar Hamlin are nothing more than special teams and backups in the event that they do get injured again. After all, Poyer and Hyde are all pros. They're the best safety duo in the game, and we need them here to have a chance. Special teams. Tyler Bass, Reed Ferguson, and we don't have a punter right now, because unless you've been living under a literal rock, you would know that Matt Ariza was recently released by the Bills due to some daunting allegations that I'll get into in another video. 
However, the punters I am looking at right now for the Bills are Marquette King, who is a free agent, Brett Kern of the Titans, who is more than likely going to be released due to losing a punt battle in camp, and Ty Long, who is the former Chargers punter. After all that, it adds up to the 53-man roster that will be marching their way down to Arizona for Super Bowl 57 in February. Thanks for watching. Who do you think will make the Bills roster this Tuesday? Please subscribe as I have plenty of more Bills and NFL-related videos coming to you all season long. That's all I have for you today. See you in the next video.